Hi, uh, good evening. This uh, vlog is addressed to my students at the Park Eastern University. Uh, how are you, my students? Hi, the class presidents, the great secretaries. How are you now? I hope you're fine. Huh? We, sur we will survive this lockdown. Don't worry. We will see each other again uh, very soon. Huh? Now, uh, I'm blogging this uh, doing this blog for you to to be reminded of your uh, first of all the assignments at the same time the final uh, case study that you are about to submit no? now let's talk about the assignment no? uh, in the earlier discussion we finish in the class, in the classroom, we were, we were able to finish up to chapter 5, right? And then, we're just waiting for the midterm exam. We also did the reviews, right? And then, here comes the extended lockdown. In the extended lockdown, because uh, of so many vacant time that we have in our homes, we decided, you know, the school decided, that we'll give you assignments. And the guidelines is on the uh, instructions that were announced in our websites, right? I asked you to read the guidelines, right? And so the assignment, I'd like to remind you that uh, it's about uh, making summary from chapter 7 to chapter 14, right? All you have to do is to make the, the chapter outline from chapter 7 to chapter 14 and every chapter you pick 10 important de uh, definitions write the definitions and then describe in your own word how these terms could be of help when you became professionals someday that's the assignment very simple no? outline 10 definitions per chapter, outline per chapter, 10 definitions per chapter, and then define in your own word or describe in your own word how these concepts that you wrote, the 10 concepts for every chapter that you wrote, will help you in your future career. Okay, that's a assignment. No? Now, let's go to the paper. I made an important uh, clarification on the paper today so that uh, it might it might help you no? in writing your paper earlier I already announced the different specs of the paper but today I've written some important clarifications or additions no? in addition to this block you know first of all let me share to you my impression about this blog. No? For me, YouTube and Facebook are the most important media today and the more dominant, the most dominant media today. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, we just have to master YouTube and Facebook and then use their, their schemes and facilities for our own advantage. No? And that's why I'm using right now YouTube. I want to experiment also whether I can use YouTube in my online lecture. Probably in the comment sections in the YouTube, you can write your comment and then I will reply. You will ask me some of your concerns in the comment section later and then I will reply. Okay, so all, all of you will have to be a member of the YouTube. Use your own real name, huh? don't use any dummy accounts, your real name, be a member of the YouTube, and then, of course, you have to subscribe to my channel no? for you to be able to participate well. So, as regards to the paper, no? I'd like to remind you that, um, okay, you are, you can actually change the company that you have chosen. Remember in the class, you have, we have already decided what company are going to do your case study. Because of this COVID incident, I will allow you to change your company. 
the consideration of the company that you will be going to work now is are the data available in the website regarding your company or do you have a person that you can interview in relation to the company so that uh, you can do your paper because without data and without information you can finish the paper according to the outline that we uh, we discussed in the in the class no so you are allowed to change the company second the deadline of this paper will remain to be may 18 to 22 that was the first announcement that i made right in the in the in the canvas and even in the in the TDSAP, right? So the deadline is May 18 to 22. Okay, all group leaders and assistant leaders, remember that you have to grade individually the members of your group with regards to their participation on the paper. No? So I will pick them up, I will pick your grade and maybe consider it as a maybe as a quiz or recitation we have to decide no we have to decide okay and then um, assistant group leaders remember that you are the intellectual leader of the group when we elected you it's very clear that the assistant leaders will be the intellectual leader of the group and that's why you are the editor-in-chief of the paper. So you have to collate all the works of your members and put them in the format or in the outline that we have, in the, in the, in the required output guidelines that we discuss in the group. Remember what we did in the class? We assign every member of the group a portion of the outline, right? So all you have to do is to follow up with them, no? Now, so, as the editor-in-chief, you're in charge of the paper. If somebody will not submit their part, you have to write it. That's the role of the editor-in-chief. You have to be self-sustaining, no? If, he, if one member will not be able to submit a portion of, the, of, the, of his job, no? you have to write in his behalf and maybe give him a low grade later you can pay him if you want okay but of course under this consideration that we are in a crisis probably you can just give him low grade huh? okay um, we have uh, guidelines that we discussed in the class the title is required output MGT 1104 or bet AST HCM 2020 no? it's uh, it's downloaded I uploaded I uploaded it in the Marikina Google Sites all you have to do is to look at them but anyway in the announcement in the canvas the link is alive all you have to do is to click it and you will see the guidelines no? it's very easy okay so um uh, Remember, we discussed this in the class, no? including the outline, right? The outline. So, we are a little bit advanced in the other sections, but uh, uh, let's keep on doing this according to the, to the guidelines. So, you, you won't have any problem in the future. Okay. So, also, I, I, was, uh, I was able to, to acquire model papers example of uh, case study papers that were done by other classes you can just look at them no probably follow their the way they do it huh? best marking no it's not copying it's best marking uh, technically it's best marking it's a management concept no? okay make uh good use of this model so i have uh, i have uh, uploaded two models one is a case study about Quezon city lgu and the other one is a case study of san lazaro hospital 
make it as a, make them as a model. You can refer to them, okay, how they approach, okay, the the paper. Also, I'd like to remind you that when you do your paper, I want you to to follow the the outline that we discussed in the class. And if I if you still remember, I want you to to pick up the first sentence of the outline and put it in the paper so that the readers will uh, or the checkers of the paper will understand that portion of the paper by just uh, by just looking at the outline or by, yeah by just uh, by just reading the first two uh, sentences no okay now, um, of course, when, when you, in the paper, you have to write the members of your group, no? And the sections, it's basic, huh? my, my name, etc. You have to put it, your name also, complete, no? Now, how do you submit your paper? Including the assignment that I asked you, no? The assignment that I asked you, how do you submit that? Remember, we're talking here of two items. Huh? One is the summative assignment from chapter 7 to chapter 14. You have to do some outline and summary per chapter and uh, some definitions per chapter. That's one. The second one is the case study. Okay? Now, I've given you separate instructions on those two items no? in the canvas. Make it a habit to, to always visit the canvas and the TDS app. Huh? And now the, the YouTube. So, how do you submit these two items? You can submit this by attaching them, the file, in the canvas. Right? In the assignment section, there are some instructions and then you can attach your pie. The two of them. Okay? Attach a pie. In addition to the attachment of the pile, okay, you can PM to me another pile. To Messenger. Do you know that you can attach a pile in the Messenger? It's very convenient. And if you want a pile for yourself, you can message yourself and attach a pile. That way, you can keep the pile forever, as long as a messenger exists, huh? okay? Also, just in case there are some problems, in one, for one reason or another, you don't have like, access to the messenger, or to the, to the canvas, or online, you can mail to me a hard copy of your Two outputs, no? Mail me. Use the ordinary postal postal mail, no? Or you can send it to LBC. Or you can uh, you can use Grab and send it to me. Okay, the hard copy. Okay. And of course, you have to, we have to follow the deadline. That is uh, May 18, right? Day 18. Now, the address, my address is already written there in my instructions in Canvas and in the TDSAP. Okay, I don't have to announce it here. But uh, I, I will presume that you will work on your assignment and your paper using the Canvas. Because that's, the, uh, that's, uh, that's our framework, no? the Canvas. Okay, now, in this... Uh, now, I'll give you a tip on how to put things together. No? Remember, we are in, a, in, an, in an online mode and we are in a situation where we cannot meet personally. And your group mates are everywhere. No? But remember in our class, when we group ourselves, no? you elect some leaders and I ask you to make a directory. Remember that? the directory of your class, you must have that. 
I'm addressing this to the leader of the group and to the assistant leader. You must have that directory. And in that directory, you can, it's the, the email address there and the cell number in that directory. No? Also, uh, I'll be expecting that each group have a chat room already. You have a, I know you have a chat room. You have, I've been hearing this in the class. No? You are communicating with each other through the chat room. So, you can already communicate with the chat room. Those who are not able to communicate with the chat room, you can text them. You can text them. And, uh, you know, I'll give you some technique regarding this assignment and this paper. Just do it. No? Don't be too perfectionist. Just do the best you can, best effort. No? And just finish it and submit it. We'll, uh, we'll give you all the considerations that we can. Remember, eh? we are in an abnormal time. We are in a crisis. So, uh, let's help each other. I want, you, I want all of you to pass my course. So, that's why I'm telling you this. Just submit it. Best effort. And then, we'll see. No? We'll, be, we'll give you the best consideration. Okay? So, uh, president of the class keep on reminding the group leaders huh? remember we have five groups in the class you're the president you once in a while uh, communicate with the group leaders you're in charge of the class you're the elected president now the group leaders and the assistant leaders I want you to communicate with your members through your chat room to your to the TD sub to Canvas and even in this uh, in this blog YouTube. No? Do you know that you can comment in this blog and you can communicate each other in this blog also, right? Yeah, there's a comment section here and you can comment. You know, I have a I have a remember I was interviewed by eyewitness and I've noticed now the the comments is more than one thousand already. So. This is a, that is a proof that this blog can entertain as many as 1,000 comments. All of you are only 300, my students. I can accommodate you in this, in this blog. You can comment here. And I, can, I will answer individually your, your, your queries, right? So, uh, let's enjoy the situation. Don't worry about this. We will survive this uh, crisis, no? And in fact, this is a learning experience for all of us that we'll be able to survive and we'll be able to communicate with each other even when we're not meeting. We can even use Zoom, no? but uh, uh, maybe you can use Zoom in your groups. No? But uh, for me, I'm just contented with using this YouTube, the Facebook, and the Canvas. Three ways to... to to reach you out no? now uh, great secretaries I'd like you to message me in my messenger okay because I will be creating a chat room for all of you so that we will uh, be uh, communicating closely no? remember we will be already making uh, the grades of your of your of your sections no? we'll be making the grades of your section and as much as possible, I would like to make the grade fair, no? Fair in the sense that uh, it, it should reflect our activities before the lockdown, you know, and your activities in this lockdown era. No? Are you able to communicate with each other to help each other? So don't worry, just enjoy this crisis. Huh? I want you to be healthy. That's our priority right now. I want you to be healthy and I want you to... Don't worry about your grade. Huh? Don't worry about your grade. Just comply, pass the requirements, and everything will be okay. Yeah, everything will be okay. Remember what I promised you in the class. No? It's hard to fail in my class. Remember that. Huh? So, uh, just do. Do your best. Best effort. Okay, are we clear now?
Are you clear? Anyway, if you have some questions, just write it in the comment. I'll answer them. Huh? I'll answer them. So that uh, everything will be okay. Okay. Good night, everyone. And I wish you good health, you and your family. Okay, good night.